Young Han is an unapologetic do-gooder, and he thinks he should be one too. When you Google search do-gooder, it doesn't actually have a positive connotation to it. I know that there's a little stigma, but if you really think about it, what's so wrong with being so idealistic? How are you going to change the world without being a little crazy? Han and two friends are the brain trust behind GoVolunteer.com, a Bay Area website that utilizes a social networking platform to stimulate volunteerism and address social issues. The three-month-old company has already clocked 1,300 volunteer hours in Mountain View alone. Any tech startup will tell you getting anybody to do anything on your site is difficult, let alone go volunteer 1,300 hours. 30-year-old Han is the oldest son in a high-achieving Korean family. The Oakland native settled in Mountain View, a tech haven in Google's backyard. In college, he worked at Starbucks, starting off as a barista and working his way up the management ladder. The company offered him the chance to be in a Got Milk ad and work with then-California First Lady Maria Shriver on a program that connected needy families with the state's social programs. Most importantly, this experience reconnected Han with his love of volunteerism. Starbucks plays a huge part in why I wanted to become a social entrepreneur. They really promote a culture of getting their employees to go out in the community. They do it because it creates brand loyalty, and brand loyalty with the social cause is much stronger than just saying, hey, like us on Facebook, we're awesome. He left Starbucks in 2010, had an unsuccessful business venture, and then began work on his current startup. Go Volunteer. It's called Go Volunteer because we're a call to action. We get on there and we want you to go do something. And that something is volunteering. In 2010, California registered almost 160,000 nonprofit organizations. In total, they generated over $150 billion in revenue. Since 2008, on average, 7 million citizens volunteer 964 million hours of service annually. Han says that people who volunteer tend to do it a lot. Pre-Go Volunteer, he was clocking 30 to 40 hours of charity work a week on top of his day job at Apple. Han's partners are Kevin Zittle and Michael Fogelstein. To me, being a do-gooder means being actively engaged in your community and giving back in any form. Fogelstein explains, We were essentially do-gooders ourselves, so we think, no, it should change the world. We should be taking action, really making it happen. Han is still an avid volunteer, spending time with the Community Services Agency in Mountain View, where he works in the food pantry, helping to sort donations, accept them, stock them on the shelves, help clients shop when we're open. Agency director Allison Hopkins says she uses Go Volunteer to find volunteers and believes the service-based rewards they offer are an important shift for the future of volunteerism. No one will ever say that they want to be recognized. That's just sort of taboo in this day and age. It's really important to recognize volunteers, whether the volunteers say it is or not. But not every volunteer loves the rewards. Many veteran volunteers think making charity work a game and offering goodies for helping the needy cheapens the purpose. There are a lot of people that tell us that, um, you know, I volunteer because I want to volunteer and that's great. Han says the intent is not to depreciate the value of charity work but entice younger volunteers who require more incentives. We're really trying to capture some new people, the next generation. By offering younger volunteers a platform built into the social networks they already use, Han says the goal is to make it easy for them to coordinate volunteerism in groups. We found that there's no real social brand for volunteerism. No one said that it has to be serious and boring. Volunteering is extremely fun. You just got to make it fun. Han sees philanthropic billionaires like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett as ambassadors of volunteerism. When I picture myself being 60, let's say I did make a ton of money and was super successful and had a lot of great um, accomplishments under my belt. I know in my heart that I would, I would do the same thing and want to give back and try to make a difference in the world and kind of brought me to the point where why can't I do that now? Uh, what's, what's stopping me from living my passion now? This is Arthi Patel reporting for the Peninsula Press.